Hey pretty gang, it is Jen, your exclusive start a business coach and I want to come in and talk to you guys about five habits that you as a brand new business owner and or content creator <laughs> should um, start doing. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have weekly goals. Now, for many of us, the goals are going to be different, but you want to make sure you have some type of weekly goal so that you can know what you should be hitting. I would prefer for you to have a content goal about how much content you plan to put out, but as well as attach that content goal to something that you can actually measure, whether that's views, whether that's likes, whether that's um, subscribers, whether that's clients, you need to have something that you're gauging. And you definitely want to have a money goal because, hey, what are we here for, right? If you're a business owner or a content creator, I'm sure right and for those you know correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but many of us are here online to make money we're not here to just be creating content pushing our content putting out pushing our content actually that's how many of us get burnt out it's because we push out so much content and nothing is coming in every you're putting out but nothing is coming in and then you get frustrated you quit and then you have to start this all over again so I definitely recommend that all business owners and or creators have weekly goals um, the second thing that I believe that a business owner or content creator should be doing in 2021 is definitely having a content plan, right? I actually have a content planner that is in the description below for those of you guys who are interested, but you definitely want to have your content planned out. And the content can be planned out in a way where it's like, hey, I just want to do two videos or get a little bit more specific hey i want to do two videos these are the names of the videos these are the days i want to drop the videos and these are the times i want to drop the videos right the day and the time so definitely want to have your content lined up because the way people are going to find you is through your content whether that's video whether that's written whether that's um audio right people are going to find you through these means and these mediums and you need to be constantly putting out content for those of you guys who are unaware many people who are online look at you like this that you are only as good as your last piece of content right and really we want to really get down to it you're as good as the last piece of content they liked you could have put out five videos but they love they liked four videos ago right so you're as good as that video that they liked or you put out five podcasts and they like the second podcast but they don't like the other three you're as good as that last one that they liked right not just because you put it out there that don't mean they like it okay um the next thing is that i need for people in 2021 if you're a content creator okay or a business owner you need to be going live you need to hit the like button at least once a month i prefer for you to do it more but i know for many of us we're busy for some of us we need to plan the content out for some of us we don't have the equipment we're not ready blah 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 blah, blah. no every business owner content creator needs to be going live because live means that you can interact with your clients you can interact with your customers therefore being a little bit more available to your client so they can ask you questions because a lot of times people may have questions about your product. People may have questions about some of the things that you've already created or some of the things that you've already produced or put out. So it's good to go live because you can build a familiarity with your audience so that they know that you are reachable and you're willing to go live and talk to your audience, talk to your tribe, right? The next thing you need to do is you need to get some type of training, whether it's ads, whether it's how to do video, whether it's how to podcast, how to do video, you need to get training, whatever you feel like you need training on. I don't know what that is, okay? You need to make that decision as a content creator and as a business owner, you need to figure out what do I need to be trained up on, right? What are some, what are some videos that you need to be looking at? What are some classes that you need to be enrolling in? What is some coaching, consults, one-on-ones? What do you need to be doing to get more trained up about your business? How can you serve your clients better, right? That can be something as small, buying a camera, right? That can be something, buying a microphone. That can, it doesn't have to be this grand thing, but I need you to get trained up on the things that you're doing so that you can continue to bring quality right quality content to your clients and or customers so that they can keep coming back and knowing that if they're seeing you invest in your business 
they know that they can invest in the products and services that you have to offer okay and then the last but not least is I need you to be creating at least not creating correction you need to be spending at least four hours a week on your business especially if you're taking your business seriously you should be spending more time on it but the reason why I'm gonna say at least four hours is because you can get a lot of things done in four hours and luckily for us in 2021 everything is digital everything can be scheduled so you kind of don't have a reason why some things can't be dropping now back in the day you had to be somewhere at a certain time to hit the the you know the the publish button for something to come out at a date and time well now every almost any everything let me not say everything almost every platform has some type of scheduling system on facebook you can schedule posts youtube you can schedule posts instagram you can schedule posts pinterest you can schedule posts on twitter you can schedule posts i think the only place you can't is tiktok and i'm sure by the time you see this video later they probably found a way for you to schedule a tiktok as well so you need to definitely be challenging yourself to work on your business at least four hours a week creating content building your processes and your systems and making sure that you have all your back office stuff working so that all the things that you say you're going to put out gets out right for example for the month of december for me i made a pact to myself that every week in december i'll be putting out three videos a week tuesday wednesday thursday tuesday wednesday thursday for the month of december why because i wanted to start providing my my viewers right who should be clients so make sure you get down in the description grab one of my uh, courses or one of my pdfs right so that you can start either making your um your course creating a workbook um what else do i have write your book um i have all of those things in the description below but you definitely need to be doing all of these things in 2021 so that your business can be set up for success or get even more success than you already have so you guys i hope that this was helpful and i'll be talking to you guys later bye you guys wait remember to hashtag pretty game in the comments bye you guys